hello learners welcome to yourpedia education so today we are here at iit mandi i got an opportunity to interact with dr hitesh mali who is dean student of iit mandi and associate professor in school of computing and electrical engineering so sir thanks first of all sparing few minutes from your busy life i must say thank to you because i can uh, talk to you and i can uh, promote different activities at iit mandi so this video is going to be quite informative and helpful especially for those student who have written gate 2023 and they are going to decide their academic in this academic 2023 for their mtech courses for their phd courses and for their ms courses so in this video i will discuss with dr hitesh why one should go with the iit mandi vlsi what is you know Course structure of IIT Mandi VLSI and what are the internship opportunities? There's a lot to discuss with Dr. Hitesh in this video. So, sir, before we proceed ahead, introduce your academic journey and your current research area with our viewers so that they can relate more with you. So, basically, uh, I work in uh, CMOS analog IC design. Prior to this, uh, I also had uh, industrial experience at ST Microelectronics and. i also was post doctoral fellow at uh, university of milan so my work is variety of things where uh, i work for not only for the application of mobile however i am also working for application of space and bio uh, biomedical imaging applications which are actually commonly known as radiation hardened circuit but on an average it is starting with circuit design its simulation uh rigorous level of cross corner and other simulations mathematics and chip tap out and later on after the chip is received we are testing it in iit mandi so all these things are categorized in my expertise that's quite impressive sir so when we talk about mtech specialization what i believe laboratory or labs played very very important role in the academic journey of any student because they give them opportunity to get experience and hands on on the experimental thing so you told me and i got to know this that you are the one of the main person or founding member of you know vlsi branch of the iit mandi which was started in 2016 way back so how difficult was it for you to arrange all things to coordinate with the industrial equipment to make this entire setup so that student can work effectively in this geographical location so when we started we had uh, you know hardly two or three faculties in vlsi however uh, it was decided that we have to start mtech vlsi because it's also the you know one of the mission of uh, ministry ministry of electronics and information technology at that time we had a project called smdp uh, special manpower manpower development from chip to system design so smdp c2sd program under which we have started this and uh, when we started we have take help from uh, various universities like uh, tu berlin then uh, carlton university and some of the uh, you know uh, uh, some of the uh, companies like uh, ti uh, st microelectronics and uh, Uh, many other uh, uh, semiconductor industries who have participated and gave me different suggestions for the core structure and when we have looked at the core structure we try to make some balance between design fabrication and system because these three are the different you know pillar of any good program of vlsi so we start with the the design then its fabrication and we have cutting edge technology uh, where people can do the fabrication in our laboratory and we have class 100 facilities available and during the uh, you know classroom teaching itself we have the uh, access to laboratory so each course has one laboratory component so they they not only study the course in in classroom but they are also going to the lab and they study this like i can give you some of the example the first semester is is the first course which is known as the device uh, course device physics and modeling along with that people are studying something called centaurus and uh, silvaco 
other than that there is one more course called uh, uh, cmos analog ic design so in that one one credit laboratory is also there which is not available in many many iits i would say but we kept that where people can learn how to design the basic analog circuits in industry uh, standard tools like cadence so they design from the amplifiers to till the operational amplifier which is one of the requirement of any company when they they will say that i know op amp look it's a start point i would say so if you know op amp how to design it in cadence then you can claim that you know something about analog so that that we are doing other than that we have digital ic design practicum which is laboratory course and digital mos lic circuits which, which is associated uh, uh, you know lecture course other than that we have vlsa fabrication and vlsa fabrication laboratory in uh, uh, next semester we also have embedded system we also have digital vlsa architecture we also have uh, advanced embedded system biomedical system and so many courses like cad for vlsi and uh, rfic design all these courses are packed in our particular uh, you know course structure such that people have the whole exposure and of course uh, when they are having some specific elective in particular direction because some of the core courses like as i told design which is composed of analog and digital and system which is going for little bit higher side where digital vlsi architecture mix signal or embedded system advanced embedded system even including biomedical system all these are system so particularly in which system they want to go or on the basis of you know device side device physics then studying the fabrication maybe they want to go higher side like in uh, nams mams nano manufacturing so we are giving them opportunity to go into particular direction so it's not compulsory that they can only go for design side or only go for you know uh, the device side but three different pillars are there they can choose any one or some people are mixing that so as it was uh, coined by our dean academics it's again cook your own degree do you want specific in vlsi it's like vlsi is an ocean so you can't say that i just want to do design or i just want to do fabrication you you can do any one of them or you can mix all of them whatever you want and as per iit mandi's uh, you know our ordinance we are also having two open electives outside your discipline just to increase your breadth uh, other than that we uh, also have winter internship with iit mandi uh, mandi professors only so people are working with us they learn how to write paper so and that is for only iit mandi iit mandi internal okay, so internal. it is part of them it's a three credit course during winter okay. and then after two semester generally i am telling you if you talk with our student i would say that the usp is our student when they are coming here generally even uh, like last semester also i have seen during first semester itself people are getting the internship offer for the next year Right, right, right. Means uh, they join, let's say in August and October, November, they might got some internship offer, and they know that next year I am going to go to, let's say Intel. If somebody knows that, and if they know this thing earlier, right? Earlier, so their confidence is at a next level, and they can put effort in that direction only. Exactly. So they are taking all the electives in next semester right. accordingly, and they they design or they cook the degree accordingly. Their you know interest and. the job which they right. actually got and most of the time when they are getting the internship so they are generally getting the ppo right, right. i am also like a dean student so career and placement is also under me okay. and it's one of the successful program of uh, you know our iit and i would say that we never uh, you know compromise with with the you know gate score okay. gate score wise we always got very good student very good gate scorer people we got and one more thing for all of the people who has not seen our uh, website or the whole brochure properly uh, we allow uh, gate with electrical instrumentation and electronics communication all three right so and as i have designed this course so i know that all three are very much relevant for this course there is no problem in understanding if somebody is from electrical instrumentation or anything 
it does not create any any hurdle for him or her because we are starting most of the things with some taking some overlap with the you know previous btec course like device physics so we are starting with the scratch we are teaching the p types of uh, semiconductor look that's the simplest thing which we have started studying in 12th standard so from there of course it's taking little bit you know faster at the beginning time you might have to spend a little bit time but later on it's very uh, you know you can understand it without uh, getting any trouble most of the people who have graduated from iit mandi having btech in electrical or btech in instrumentation like they they have excelled in a particular in this domain and they are doing excellent right now it seems so, like that uh, iit mandi have kept both sector on primary while designing the course of vlsi as you suggested mm. because today's world student have dilemma whether to go with the technology trend or whether to go with the interest it seems whatever mm. you discussed both sector are taken into consideration in addition to that i want to tell you because when we made the course we also kept one possibility for msc electronic student to take admission in gate uh, to admission in mtech vlsi but the requirement is he or she has to give gate in any one of the discipline e instrumentation or ec okay. so msc electronics is also open over here right, right. but gate discipline is fixed right. so guys those all students who have written gate 2023 exam and if they are willing to join vlsi specialization as discussed by dr hitesh the course curriculum is having great flexibility you know all the technology trends and interest is being taken into consideration while designing and alongside the laboratory so dr tish coming to laboratory in iit mandi i visited one lab c4 d fpd so that is one of the milestone of iit mandi so yeah. can you speak bit about that please so uh, c4 d fpd is the uh, you know cutting edge technology and it's at par with rest of the world i would say not only with the country mm -hmm. right it's for device fabrication facility we are giving exposure to our uh, second semester student in mtech vlsi to design their own transistor in the laboratory mm -hmm. so they are learning at the beginning this is one thing and this has uh, you know class 100 facility it is categorized under class 100 and um, of course uh, after learning this they can actually use this knowledge for you know their uh, mtech uh, uh, you know that project and thesis also right? thesis also and of course if they want to go for phd later on they can go go with that true, 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 true. so that's now it. coming to one you know mostly asked question hmm. so iit mandi is doing really great hmm. but student have made one differentiation that old iit and new iit these are the two term coined by the student so what is your take on this most of the time students ask this question sir whether it's advisable to join new iit i'm not talking specifically about iit mandi i'm talking about old iit and new iit so their prime factor is always the placement so placement wise we are very good there is no doubt about it you can see our statistics you will see everywhere good companies like cadence uh, synopsis uh, st microelectronics mentor graphics everywhere including my own phd students got on uh, on campus placement right like companies like you know one one of them is in intel right. one is in siemens one is in uh, synopsis right. one is in uh, green semi and one of them is like professor in nit hamirpur also right, right. but you can see like out of my five graduated students who got you know Talk phd PhD, right. phd i'm talking about phd if right. phd are getting on campus job then there are lots of opportunities for b uh, b tech and m tech right, right? right. so this is this is good thing over here and i would say that there is nothing like uh, you know old and new iit understand actually new iit has new professor which are with more energy and more hands on experience right now mm -hmm. as somebody is young i would say that he has more you know connection with the the new updated thing right 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 if you you know frankly speaking if you ask mm -hmm. me and my my nephew my nephew is hardly like uh, you know uh, 15 year old he knows you know better mobile usage than myself because he he has well all the hands on technology. well aware of the technology right. whereas myself is not right. so same is true for maybe i would say that old is gold but still right. new is not completely right. useless ultimately depend upon the 
platform is providing you everything, right? Correct. So it depends upon your capability, what you're doing by going there, right? Mm. If you're going to IIT just for the sake of the IIT tag, mm. then the things will not work for you. Correct. Right? You need to work there, you need to make yourself industry ready, you need to prepare skill, and which IIT Mandi professor are doing really great in that, right? Mm. So next question is, these placements are full-time or internship? It's both. So both. we have, you know, uh, we have possibility to have one year internship in company right so and later on they can go for pp or whatever so this is all student can go for internship all students all students can go for uh, internship if they are getting right. so before co uh, covid we had 30 students all 30 got uh, internship and uh, later on they they went for you know different companies so that way we are getting good uh, opportunities and they are getting what they are looking for so i am not saying that everybody are looking only for job. So some people in that session itself, they left the job and they went for PhD also. Right, right, right. But uh, yeah, we are trying to provide what they are looking for. And uh, I, I would say that in addition to everything, what we are providing is the vocational training ready for industry. We are teaching them cadence, synopsis, Verilog, you know, Verilog A, Verilog you know, VHDL, we are teaching them, uh, I would say, embedded, FPGA, ARM processor, all of these things are part of our core curriculum. And of course, the fabrication of the transistor. This is this makes them, you know, ready for the industry. So you might not realize at the beginning, but when you are meeting yourself after one year, you will definitely see that you are competing uh, maybe older IIT students, or sometimes you feel that you are better than them. Now coming to as we know, the applicants are applying to showers. I think we're gonna pass. So what I have observed, and we also need to know. Okay, we need to do one. I have studied the pre-project topics in very detail. Oh, oh, this documentation might be they don't have that much really good handling of the device pages or solid state device. So how much difficult is it for the student to you know transition to suffer the transition? Manage with the transition that first time he is going to study those subjects. What is your take on this? Actually, of course, they need to, uh, you know, practice a bit. But I would say that uh, it is not so much difficult because it is starting from zero. On zero. But if you want to, uh, you know, study uh, yourself after, you know, after getting the, the, you know, your gate examination is over. Maybe you can teach a bit about maybe device physics, but uh, those people who join IIT Mandi in previous uh, you know years, I haven't found anyone who was getting too much difficulty. Even I found even electricals are getting better grades than electronics. It's all about uh, your your interest, interest. right? Yeah. Effort comes yeah. with right? Correct. So, as you told, you have, you know, already made so much courses for the <laughs> so when student is going from BTEC to MTEC, so there is a transition, be it in terms of the level of difficulty, be it in terms of the teaching style. So, students have these three to four months, from mm -hmm. April to, you know, July or mid of August when the session will be started. Mm -hmm. So, if you want to taste the flavor of MTEC courses, especially in VLSI, so what you will suggest them and what they should follow? So I, I would suggest if you want to see exactly what is going on in IIT Mandi, so all the courses related to analog and uh, digital side, I kept it online on my YouTube channel. So like analog course, so CMOS analog IC design, digital MOS LSI circuits, op-amp design. So this is MOS based circuits. It's not op -amp means the normal B tech right, op -amp. Right, Everything is with respect to MOS, you have to go inside and make signal VLSI design. So all these courses I kept it over there. So before joining this IIT, if they can study this, then of course uh, they should get so better. Sir, can you mention your YouTube channel name? Also? It's on my name, Hitesh Rimali. So definitely right? we will put the link in the description of this video also. So as you know, discussed by Dr. Hitesh, you can you know address his YouTube channel. And you can find the different courses which you know Dr. Hitesh had made it there, right? So next concluding this session, it seems there is a lot to look forward to, but we need to wrap up it. So finally, what you want to you know guide our viewer that while taking admission in this academic session, 
why they should you know also consider iit mandi at the primary or the top and what is so special about the iit mandi vrsa look I, as i told you at the beginning i would like to just summarize in short way our vlsi is not only a course based program it's everything hands on and all the design we are doing it on you know industry standard tools and you know cutting edge technologies like class 100 uh, class classroom class 100 uh, fabrication facility so we are doing all these things this is uh, this is this is the most important part okay. and this is this makes us little bit different from others because they were uh, going with the traditional way and we design this understand we design this with the help of the industry and what they asked me to design it i designed it i am training my students and they are ready to go go over there thank you so much sir thanks for your valuable insight and rich experiences definitely it will help our viewer thanks a lot kare gaya question na bolo bolo ओके okay. एक क्वेश्चन ये रह गया ना कि कौन से कोर्सेज उनको आने चाहिए प्री रिक्विजिट वो आपने बता दिया अपने ईडीसी सॉलिड स्टेट वाला नहीं वो कहां हुआ वो नहीं बोला ना पूछना एक एक डाल दो वो हो जाए मैं फट से वो कर दो आगे एडजस्ट हो जाएगा ओके प्री रिक्विजिट कोर्सेज कौन कौन से आने चाहिए उनको ये हम्म ओके शन स्टार्ट ओके सो सर राइट नाउ यू नो इफ समवन इज कमिंग फॉर द वीएलएसए स्पेशलाइजेशन सो एज अ प्रोफेसर इन यू नो बेसिकली वीएलएसए डोमेन what are your prerequisite from the student that at least he or she must know these topics yeah so as i told you at the beginning some of the courses we are teaching from the scratch but we expect few courses which they should know from the uh, from the beginning itself so they are not going to be taught over here right because they are exclusively in btech okay. those courses are signals and system digital ele- electronics mainly like morris mano that book then Uh, a bit about analog right with bjt uh, circuits majorly right then a bit about mathematics mainly like integration linear algebra all these things right uh, and a bit about device if they know if they do not know device do not worry because we are teaching device from scratch however other courses are not going from scratch they are the supporting courses for other courses right this is what i want to say